Alright everybody, I'm making another video of my electric longboard today. We got uh, torque boards. This is really like my uh, favorite part of this whole setup here. Are these here massive motors and trucks. Also the wheels from torque boards. These are the folks that made this, uh, this here powertrain. Um, and the milled trucks. This is all really, really excellent hardware. I'm very happy with it. Um, they're a little hard to get a hold of, but once you get them and you pay them, they give you some really quality products. Uh, these are, I forget the dimensions of the motors, so don't hold me to it, but it's 6374s or something like that, or uh, 7463. I don't remember which way, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically each of these can draw about 80 amps. And in my, in my power pack here, I've got a 12S system, so it's like 48 volts to 50, 50 volts fully charged. So at fully charged, just throttling this at full blast, these could draw 160 amps, which is kind of a lot of power at 50 volts. If you do the math, you're looking at like 8,000 watts. I mean, realistically, you're probably not going to get that, but, you know. We're working in a real environment, but on paper, that's what we're spitting out, and that's pretty awesome. I, you can tell, honestly. I have another board, like a Meepo V3, that I bought from somebody used secondhand as kind of like a beater board that I use between uh, this one and that one, just because this one doesn't always work. Right now, I'm having issues with the battery, but um, that's my own fault for not getting a battery management system and then also doing it building my battery pack out of lithium ions we'll tear this open in a minute look at it but right now we're going to take a look at the motors and how they perform i haven't found much information out on the webs about these i have the 90 kilovolt package rule of thumb with for kilovolts uh low kilovolt rating means uh, a lot of torque so for your off off-roading boards but a low, a low top speed, or not a high, like a low top speed, yeah. And then the higher kilovolt rating means you get a higher top speed, but lower torque at the beginning. All right, and then uh, here's a little look over some of my safety gear. I use a full face mask, because if you're gonna be working at anything past 25 miles an hour, you need something to keep the wind out of your eyes, because it's gonna be harder to see. Um, not that that's always the case, but here in Florida it's gusty <laughs> and you'll catch yourself in like a gust of either wind or like little flies or bugs. <laughs> uh, then I use wrist guards too and then I always wear a pair of closed toed shoes. Um, knee pads are important, elbow pads are very important. I have some of those but I didn't pull them out first today. I don't plan on going really crazy right now. We're going to take it easy. Just trying to show it off a little bit. So let's see, um, this is good, because if you go anything, if you're, if you're going to be moving anything past like 15 miles an hour, you're going to need some gear to like skid, because if you crash at 15, you will slide, you'll slide for a few feet, and um, yeah, you don't want to get a lot of road rash, it's not fun, it takes at least two weeks for that to start to heal properly, and, and taking a shower afterwards, I can tell you from personal experience, if you look at my palms, um, it's horrible trying to hold a bar of soap with a hole in your hand. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go take this thing for a ride. Power button for easy turning on. I've got this uh, Flipsky VX2 remote. Inside we're running a 6.6 um, Flipsky VSC. Uh, it has a little speedo on it. We top out somewhere around like 40, 45 on the ERPM. If it goes any faster, I feel like it would damage the motors, but so we're not going to make it spin that fast. I'm going to leave the helmet off and just pray I don't hit my head. And the wrist guards, it's fine. Again, we're not, we're not going hard, okay? We're not going that hard. See? Effortlessly rolls across grass. My battery pack is not looking very good on this. It's at like just a few cells still function. <laughs> well, most of them. I think it's 
two cells are dead now. So I guess it's not a 12 S system, it's like an 11 S. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of new electric e-board sport batteries being like 13S. And I don't know how I feel about odd numbers of batteries being put together, but like, whatever. At least all of our like 60 volt ESCs will still work with those kinds of batteries. But yeah, you can tell this is like a really quiet motor system, but like delivers, it, this thing delivers a lot of power. If I lean into it, we got it. In a hurry. And that was like half the right there. Also, the single kingpin trucks and the, uh, the really high quality bushings and uh, pivot cups that Torque Board puts in with their trucks. I cannot say enough good stuff about it. It makes the ride feel really good. And then the 110 millimeter wheels, it smooths out all the cracks in the ground. Very good. Right. Let's turn this back around. Crash. <laughs> Alright, so the kicktails kind of help if you're trying to like get it around corners and things. <laughs> it still weighs way too much to really effectively slide around that much. I can power slide this thing. I'm not going to do it for you right now because I'm probably going to drop my phone and smash it. And I don't really want to do that. I always have a broken screen. For once it's not broken, so let's just do that. Be careful. Um, but yeah, you can hear. I'm gonna, I'll, let, I'll lower you down so you can hear the motors. Kind of see where we're going. Crashing into a fence right now. Hopefully, I'm not giving you all vertigo with this clumsy camera work. I am the only one for uh, filming this, and I don't know if I should just have a gro GoPro on a selfie stick or something. But I don't have that kind of stuff, so that is not an option, fam. All right, let's tear it open and see what's inside. That's like 40. <laughs> it pushes a lot of power. I'm very happy with it. It's all because of the uh, the 6.6 VESC from Flip Sky. It delivers a lot. Um, once I tear this open, I'll show you what I'm talking about. But I have issues with my batteries. Batteries are not a strong suit on this here device, especially charging them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have like a lipo balance charger that I, t I have to go in here and take them all out and put in the balance charger, but I tried making a battery management system, but I, I just spent money on the wrong parts, and now I have to wait until I have more money for the right parts, which I've found, thank goodness, but it's too late. You know, you learn a lesson in electrics, electrical theory every time you buy some equipment that isn't quite exactly what you're looking for and you're thinking you can rig it basically bought some balance boards for this, for the little balance boards on these, and they were specifically 6S ones, because that's what these battery packs are, but I put the two in series, and that's where the issue lies. If you have balance boards plugged in here, and you try and link them together in series, <laughs> they, short, they short out pretty bad, and don't work. So, yeah. Lessons learned.
I highly recommend you get a battery management system because that's what I'm having issues with now and my my battery uh, battery array or whatever we call this um, because as you can see here this is a replacement cell I've replaced once but I just have a problem with the lipo cells they don't seem to live as long as the lithium ion ones the ones that look like little 18650s that you see in like a vape mod or something those ones live a lot longer and they also have a pretty good uh, amperage uh, or high current availability or it's a coulomb rating or c rating as they call it which means you can deliver a lot of power out of them without damaging them think of them as like little balloons but you can only let out so much pressure at a time without damaging the balloon and <laughs> let me just say these are I'm crushing these like little beer cans when I fully throttle this machine <laughs> I'll show you why it's right here and I know this is <laughs> this is not my favorite enclosure I have an actual heat sink I just haven't pulled it out and put it on yet I don't run that much power through it anyway I should probably turn it off right I'm running these lights okay power off this is the 6.6 also here's a Bluetooth module I really recommend the Bluetooth module I can't show you because I'm using my phone to film this but on the phone you can get an app and it'll show you all your uh, data all the data coming off of the board in uh, real time so you can have like your own little instrument panel as you're riding around in your pocket it's all wireless it's kind of neat this is the uh, wireless module for the remote now uh, these, I, I don't know, I feel like you have to buy these in pair for this just to be plug and play and to work really easily. I know there's workarounds if you really want to go into it, with like those little pins here for other kinds of remotes and receivers, but um, I just stuck with what they sold. <laughs> That's what they had. Uh, and I don't, I don't regret it, honestly, it's a pretty good piece of equipment. It's all China made can make uh, shipping times a little lengthy but other than that they they have quality products um, I don't know anybody in America making these kinds of chips these big chips dirty chip um, <laughs> also I put in this inline uh, solid state switch anti spark switch this is a really great feature I highly recommend if you're running a system anything over 12 volts just plugging the battery in every and you know, unplugging it or whatever is gonna cause it to spark and stuff. Um, I guess yeah, that's because I have a kind of a primitive on and off switch here. Some of you out there who have about uh, like a whole charging rig and setup where you can just plug it in and charge it, you probably don't have that problem as much or don't need a spark spark gap switch as badly. But yeah, that's about it right there. I don't have a whole lot of crazy stuff going on here right now. I've got an accessory thing, so I can run anything off 5 volts from one of the battery packs in here. It also gives me a reading on the battery pack's voltage level. We're looking at 19 here, at a, what should be about 22. But, yeah, I'm having issues with my batteries, just saying. That runs these accessory lights here. That helps me keep safe uh, in the evenings when I'm riding this to and from Calva Bar. <laughs> really fun honestly I don't recommend that you go in the street too much people will run you over here in Florida um, but yeah it's really fun I really really enjoy riding this thing and it's got a lot of gas but yeah there you go that's the build <laughs>